Hey YouTube, it is Lily, the storyteller with the twist. And so I'm just sitting here and I'm putting all of my stuff together and I'm like, oh, let's do some stickers, let's this, let's that. And it just dawned on me, why aren't you recording? So just to go over, like, I'm really on this um make sure all your bills are paid and make sure that everything is um the way that it needs to be. So when it's time for everything to go through as far as um my uh, loan and everything for the house and all of this stuff. I have everything done. So I got this book. My manager actually sent this to me when I was off at the end of the year. And yeah, I just put all of my stuff in here. Um, So right now I'm just going over like some bill stuff and how much stuff costs and how much I want to make sure I pay uh, every time I get paid and then what it's going to dwindle down to minus the the interest but I like to decorate it see then I started off doing some extra pages so just some of the stickers that I got from Dollar Tree just to start my page up like I'm gonna add more but I was like oh I'll just throw something in there you know make it cute and then this is my book this is this month it's getting kind of it's getting kind of um close to the end of the month so we really don't have too much to worry about and then i went ahead and i started next month which will be march so i added like the little stuff and the stickers started adding my you know what bills are doing what month or what day and then so i'm like okay well we can do this together we can you know put some stuff in here together what so i'm like okay we have Memorial Day coming up in May, but I really wanted to focus on the first day of summer and the 4th of July, just to, because like I said, I'm just bored. I'm just here waiting to pick my daughter up from practice. It's already late and tired. Ugh. So why not do a little bit of something just to keep my hands busy? Um, so I don't fall asleep or anything like that and forget to grab my baby, my boo. So I'm thinking we'll start with the summer month, which will be the first day of summer. It's actually in June, and it's on the 21st. Oh, I don't want those. So I'm just going to throw in some cute little uh, summerish stickers for the month. I'm just going to take those out. So I took these out, and I'll take out some of these, the... Relax and let's go to the beach. Um, I think I'm going to actually put some rhinestones. I took these out. But I think I actually want to put some rhinestones on. Uh, I don't know what I want to do. Do I want to do yellow? You know what? I will do yellow. I'll do yellow this time. And then I'll leave out the red, clear, and blue. For my next month. So let's see. You know, I use our um, one of the other months I put these going across the bottom. I think this time I'm gonna put it all the way around just to uh, give it a little pop. So I'm just gonna pull these out first. I'm not gonna actually put them down just yet or stick them to anything just yet. I want to put my pictures on first. So first day of summer, we need like something really awesome. How about we go, I'll go with the beach ball. Just little beach ball. Stick that on. Take off my summer sticker. And stick that on the top of the page. Make it real cute. And then we have all these other ones, so you can just like, and I like, I love these. These are those 3D stickers, if you can see. I don't want to rip it off, but they're like 3D. And don't talk about my fingernails. They're 3D. I think they're really cute. So I'm just going to stick one down here. Told y'all, I'm on a mission. I'm staying focused. I'm not going to let anything stray me from my mission. 
Um, but you can believe this. I'm going to go ahead and do my own here. I got to... <laughs> I gotta get my man right because I can't take it. I don't like being a bum. <laughs> I like watermelon. Just put this watermelon right there. I love this little flamingo. This is like the cutest thing ever. So let's see. The only thing is if I put him someplace I'm going to run the risk of running out of space. So, on here, you see, this is the day from the month before. I'm going to stick them in between here so I can still write down my information here and still work with the dates. And I can still see the day of the week. I think that worked out pretty good so I'm gonna do everything and then I'm gonna show it to you so we're just gonna sit and chit chat now let me say this one of the things that's going on in the real world today um, it's it's kind of weird and I'm hoping that it's not the case and it's not true but this thing with the guy from Empire um, Jesse Smollett, I believe that's how you pronounce his name. Like, I, I really hope that he did not, oh, I don't want a pink one there. I'm really hoping that he did not do this stuff on purpose. When it came out, I really, like, sincerely felt bad because it's like, why would someone want to treat you this way? Why would someone you know do these things to you and I genuinely felt you know and in, in having friends that are um that you know like the same sex or you know or whatever but having people and then thinking that oh wow they they bashed you they tied a rope around your neck and all types of stuff I, I'm just really hoping that he did not do that stuff on purpose just for um, the sake of, I, I guess it was a, a note or something sent to someone that's uh, on the cast. I don't know if it was him or not. And it said some really harsh things. And supposedly, because they didn't take it seriously, they decided or he decided to um, take matters into his hands and, you know, concoct this thing of yeah they assaulted me and they did this and they called me on my name just to make awareness of what was going on and to bring about that letter where people would take it a little bit more seriously but that in my personal opinion and this is just strictly my opinion everybody can have their own opinion and their thoughts about it but in my personal opinion I don't believe that that was the right way to go about it um, like I said, it's my personal opinion. I could be wrong. However, it's, it's seriously just the way that, that I'm thinking and the way that I feel about the situation. But I think it could have been gone about in a different manner. And then at the same token, I hear, oh, he did this because he's supposed to be getting written off the show. Well, getting written off of, uh, off of a show, it happens to actors um on a on a regular basis it just it just is what it is um i don't feel like he would have been someone to to get written off of the show only because he's one of the stars like you're 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 doing really good like you're bringing a lot of viewership like when i look at the show i look forward to seeing the three brothers and the mom and the dad and the kids and oh my gosh you know this person or that person or oh they're from their past oh we didn't do our wine i'm gonna drink some of this hopefully i can get i hurt my hand i i think i'm getting i'm, I'm on the computer all day and i think i'm getting carpal tunnel or my carpal tunnel is starting to act up more than usual 
and I was actually trying to open a bottle the other day. Uh, it was, it, I want to say it was some water and it was kind of frozen. And I tried to twist it and that just hurt my hand even more. But neither here nor there. We're going to drink the last of this white Zinfandel. And today's glass is, it says, either give me more wine or leave me alone. Hello. <laughs> but back to Jesse. People get written off of shows or killed off of shows or whatever all the time. And like I said, I feel like it wasn't going to happen. And if it did, I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. Only because you're one of the, the stars that are bringing the viewership. Like you're helping um, the gay community or, you know, that, that whole big uh, community be more comfortable with themselves and, and being able to come out and just be themselves like you're I don't want to say hero but you're setting an example like you're the example right now people are looking up to you and to do something like this that's damaging like I, I I'm I'm not a big time any person um however you shouldn't that's wrong. If it didn't happen, that's wrong. If it did happen, I, I really hope that they do catch the people that actually did do this because that was wrong. Um, if you're trying to bring awareness to the letter or to what's going on in the world currently, I, it's greatly appreciated. You know, thank you for that. However, I think I, I just feel personally some of the stuff, it was just gone about the wrong way, but I'm hoping and praying that everything work out if it is real please catch the people that did this stuff if it's not just apologize i think a lot of people will have a lot of respect for an apology and understand where you are coming from if you just come out and, and say the such um yeah i like jesse i always call him juicy okay so fourth of july month and these so I feel like the flag is so cliche, but I'm going to use it anyway. And uh, the 4th of July, Independence Day, BQ sticker right there. I like this little banner. We can put this at the top. In the corner. I'm going to show you the other page in a second, too. And then I am going to have to cut this video a little bit short because I do have to go get my baby from practice. I don't want her to think I'm leaving her or forgot about her. Or, Mom, did you fall asleep? I don't want to hear any of that. I like this. I love veterans one, so I'm going to definitely put this one in here. See? I know so many veterans. I love them to death. Thank you guys for everything you have done for us. And let's get one more to go up here in this upper right corner. And then we're going to quickly throw on I don't know if you guys can hear that bumping, but those are my neighbors upstairs. And that's really, really loud. But, can't tell somebody else what to do. Or, hey, how about you be considerate of the people that live downstairs from you? Go figure. But, I think, and then don't get me wrong, the stuff that I'm putting on here right now, it's just something quick. Like I said, it was just to keep my hands busy until it was time for me to go get my daughter. But it was like, why do this with 
you know, without recording. Like, I didn't know anything about a sticker until um, Mama Roxy started this. Oh, I collect stickers and all this and all that. And I'm like, well, why do you collect God doggone stickers? What is that going to do? And then I started seeing her stuff and what she was putting the stickers on. And I'm like, I want that. Man, don't look like that. Did you buy it like that? And she like, girl, no, nah, all those stickers I collect. This is what she put her stick. This is what she do with her stickers. And I'm just like, I want to tell with my stickers. So guess what? I'm doing that with my stickers. Okay, so this is the summer one. And like I said, it's just the start. It's not the complete final anything. You just put it around. Then I'll be able to write all of my stuff in. So this is June. And this is the July one that I just started. And like she puts in all type of stuff. Like the washi tape and just this and that. And I'm like, ooh. So now I have to start buying washi tape. And that is going to be it for this video. Like I said, it wasn't nothing, you know, big. Just a... Something to chit chat about and just show you what I actually use all of those stickers that I've been collecting on. Stuff like that. So until next time, cheers and I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, don't forget to subscribe and like. Deuces.